Testing one, two, three. Can you hear me now? Is it okay? I'm back up at this end. It shows clear. Okay, well, that was my machine's fault. We have both. There's a Wi-Fi connection running here, and we're also wired to a direct Ethernet connection. And for some reason, the machine itself automatically jumped to Wi-Fi, and it tried to use the Wi-Fi from upstairs, which is a long way away. Sorry about that. Wi-Fi is now turned off. We're wired here. Okay, so come back all right. And sorry about that, some try. This looks like the big master snowflake of them all. One big one here, it's just above the temple roof there at the right hand side. Having these snowflakes on this background block makes the gradation work much more difficult, you know. Sugasan really isn't happy about this, but Whatever, she's a printer, she prints what we give her to print. That's okay. But this block gets used three times. Right? Gradation in the middle for the orange, gradation at the top for the sky, gradation at the bottom. And for every one of those gradations, you can't get paste inside these snowflakes. This is one tough little print.
Is there danger of the pigment pooling in them? Very much so. It's called tamari in Japanese, absolutely. It's the biggest problem. Any, anytime you've got fine carving with small areas chopped out of the block, the paste wants to stay in there. It's a huge problem for printers. This is why uh, you've seen, we've talked about keeping the brushes soft on the shark skin, and this is why. So that the tips of those brushes are really soft and they scoop the pigment out of the, uh, out of the dots. What also helps too is the shape of the carving here. If, if I keep good walls on these things, the paste will slide out. But if I keep junk in the bottom of these things, or if the things are carved too straight down, we couldn't drill these out. If you drill them out, you get side slopes, so side, I know, straight sides to the, to the hole, and the pigment pools at the edges. So. But by having the angled cut down here, the brush hairs pull the pigment out of it easily. Coming one more today here. So far.
Okay, I think that's the first group here. That bunch of flakes are all going to be just on this one block, so they don't have to match anything else. <coughs> this next group has to be carved to match. So what should I do here? Someone's asking about the New Year design. <laughs> Someone can. <laughs> it had to be. I haven't got it done yet. And I've got to make a decision sometime in the next few minutes about what to do on this. Eh? We promised a, a nice stream tomorrow. So let me sit tight on this for a few minutes until Cameron gets here and we'll chat about this and see what to do. The printers are all bugging me. Sugasan's going to come in here in a few minutes at 9.30. The first thing she's going to say, <laughs> well, there's a few questions. She might ask about the snow, and she might say, is the New Year card design ready? Because they're all really afraid that the later I get, of course, the later they keep printing before they can go home for the New Year holiday. They are obviously justifiably really concerned about this. Yeah. Because we have to make hundreds of those things, absolutely hundreds. I mean, there are hundreds of Patreon supporters, the regular customers, the subscribers get one. We have to make hundreds of those New Year cards. And if I don't get going on it like real soon, then we are up to our neck in trouble. I shop yesterday was just so busy, you know. There was people from the airplane documentary, people who'd seen YouTube. It was just non-stop. I did two of the parties because we were just so crowded. The boys couldn't do them all by themselves. The prints were just flying out of here. You know, I get to the end of the day and it was just... I got out of here, I think, around 9, just before 9. Kwaisan had been upstairs. He left the shop about 5.30 when it, it got quieter. <coughs> He's upstairs printing the Hasui job. But I was down here till about 9. There were just so many people in. Let's do this first song first, then we'll grab the same block and then try and cut the other block while I still remember what I did here. Okay, before I move on and do the rest, let me get the other block that has this same zone.
These are the trees over at the right hand side. Prince on a plane. Yeah, of course I meant, I'm oh, sorry, I was talking about the documentary that's playing on the airlines. And, uh, we're still stunned. Every day we're stunned by that. I don't know how many people yesterday. Three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't count the groups of people that come in and having seen the documentary on the plane. Um, and it's still playing. And one of the gentlemen here yesterday, he picked up a bunch of Ukiwa Heroes prints. He's been waiting to come here for months. He saw the documentary. He says on a Lufthansa flight, seven or eight months ago and filed it away for the next time he was in Japan, filed it away mentally, and he was in Japan and looked us up and came over here. And I'm like, I'm sure it wasn't playing that long ago. It started in Delta Airlines a while ago. And he said, no, he was quite sure because he knows when he flies around the world. And he said, I saw it enough times and it was seven months ago. And it's still playing on these airplanes. I'm, I'm astonished by this. When we first heard about this, we looked up how it works. And these things seem to go on a one-month schedule. And even you go to the airline's website. We, we first checked the Delta Airlines website, and it said, here's our media mix for July or whatever. And it seems to be on a one-month schedule where they change them in and change them out. They can't keep the same movie running for all this length of time. But our documentary is still there on some of these airlines three or four or five or six months running. I have no idea why. When we spoke to the people that made the documentary about this, they said, oh, we don't care about airplanes. We just dumped it up on there. It seems they don't even get paid for it playing on there. They're just looking for sort of PR or something. I don't know. But my God, it's helping us so much. And we've been waiting for it to stop because our the traffic coming in this shop here will drop dramatically once those documentary once it stops playing on those planes. See? So I don't know, somebody's watching over us. Maybe there's some single person who controls those things, you know, does all these feeds for all the different airplanes. And somebody in that company likes us or something. I don't know. Or it's an algorithm. They check how many people click and play each one and they replay the popular ones. I don't know. That could be it, maybe, actually. They're, you know, the people who do those things are obviously counting plays and counting clicks inside the airplane itself. And if something doesn't get shown, they'll pull it. But if it keeps, people keep watching it, maybe they leave it up, you know. I don't know. Anyway, all we just do is just sit back and enjoy the people coming in the door. You Okay, that's almost done.
Okay, next song. Main temple roof. These are quite big snowflakes. These are easier. This is the main temple black roof. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven flakes up there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do them on this block first and quickly switch to the other block. They're not quite round. Let's give a bit of a wobbly shape to some of these. The bigger they are, the more you can see the shape. So it's more important to try and keep to the shape. Let's try and get this as exact as we can. The noodle shop and the tendon shop across the street that's been under deconstruction for the past few weeks. It looks like today's the day they've got to the bottom, they've got to the ground. You know. They've been, as they're bringing the building down from fourth floor, they've been bringing it down from the top to the bottom, from the top down. And they've been bringing the scaffolding down at the same time. And as of yesterday, the scaffolding was down to, to height level. I can hear them working over there now, so I think the scaffolding is coming off. We're just going to see a, a flat piece of ground where they've taken the building down. So I think the building schedule we saw on the scaffolding that said to be finished by the end of the year, I guess that really was just for the first part of the job, taking down the old building. And they'll probably start new construction when January comes. Unless it's some kind of prefabricated building, they're just going to drop it in there or something within the next three weeks. I can't, I can't see how that could happen now. We'll see. Maybe they've got a surprise for us. Okay, let's do the same thing. Let's find the other block that has this. Is it this one? No. Yeah, it's this one. It's got the same bumps. Let's just do it straight away. Six, 
seven. It's more difficult because the wood has been stained with the pigment, so it's darker wood. It's a bit more difficult to see the blobs. Where's our friend Cameron this morning? He's going to bring a late slip, is he? Oh, speak of, speak of. Here he is. Morning. Just my, I just triggered. Where is my friend Cameron this morning? Yeah. Is he going to bring a late slip or not? Yeah. So I don't no, know. just uh, I'm late. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How are you? How's okay, it? it's been a busy weekend. Busy, yeah. busy, 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 busy weekend. I opened the mail on the train. The mailbox was. I don't know how many are in there. I have no idea. I've, I, I kept up with it a few things. I took out the flea market oh, stuff, nice. so we have to ship from here. Great. Should we try this? If I do the usual thing, if I clamp the thing in tight while we rotate this, See okay, if it'll survive. Funny bolt being pushed, clamped, squeezed. Hang on a second. I got to rotate. I have to. Oh, no, we got hat hair. <laughs> Huh? Hat hair. Hat hair. Yeah. Like, at least you've got hair. <laughs> Drop frames. No, looks like we made it around. We survived this time. Pop that out if you like, or whatever. Yeah, it's up sure. to you, whatever. I'm just going to... What did you do? Wait. I think it's a few new faces. You yeah. might introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. It's snow. It's snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Yeah. This is the only snow we're likely to see here this month. But, uh, yeah. This month. Maybe once in January or February. Yeah. It seems to be the pattern. <laughs> Compared to where you lived last year, yeah. up to last year. Yeah. Cameron used to live in what we call snow country. Yes. Well, almost at the edge of snow country, but yeah. the Niigata. But it's, it was so, in yes. the town where the novel Snow Country was set. So ah, yeah, of it, course. It, of course, it is of course, snow country. Yeah. <laughs> A couple of meters. It, yeah. It's unbelievable. If you like snow, it's heaven. If you hate it, that's okay. Why didn't you stay? <laughs> <laughs> Move out. <laughs> Not the place for you. Um, it was a very busy weekend, just crazy. Yeah, I know, really. and it, it got to be a joke. Someone would walk in smiling, grin, and I say, YouTube, and he says, What's oh, YouTube? Oh, what's YouTube? <laughs> it's a documentary, airplane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then we're chatting about this, and then while we're chatting, a couple comes in and opens that big grin, I say, Documentary. They say, Huh? huh? And I say, oh, YouTube. Uh, but it's yeah. those two things, documentary and YouTube, all. Oh day long wow when you go and look at what's in this cash ready yeah. just i think seven seven heroes prints left here yesterday yes all, all to people who had seen it wow. on the airplane that's wild it's the gift i'll keep saying the gift that just keeps on giving yeah. don't even know 
And one really interesting one, there was a German guy here, really interesting guy, mm. he saw it on Lufthansa. And we know it's okay, been playing yeah. on Lufthansa, but he mm -hmm. said, I saw it on Lufthansa last spring. Last like, spring? Oh, wow. What do you mean? Like, I mean, we're, we counted back six, seven months ago. I said, no, no, that's got a mistake. You must have seen it somewhere else and you've, you know, been one there. He said, that's my, this, my passport. That's my last trip. Or yeah. Whatever. So, wow. And so it's been playing on some of those things now for at least half a year. Yeah. So I remember it started, we started hearing about it when I first came It was in, last fall on Delta, ago. and it's still playing on Delta. Yeah. I just so they've just whatever. added airlines. They haven't taken it away yeah, from any yeah, airlines. Yeah. It's shocking. We're chatting about it here on the stream, I think. It's, I mean, the, the feature movies, they obviously rotate every mm -hmm. few weeks or something. Right. But there's things that sit in the bottom of the pile, the documentaries, and maybe they're, they're counting clicks. Yeah, like something that. that nobody clicks on, they get rid of it. I'm just yeah. guessing. Yeah. And things that lots of people are watching, and they figure, whatever, keep it there. It's not okay. time sensitive. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't want to ask. I don't want to disturb anything. Yeah. Why is that documentary still on your flight? Since, oh, yeah, you're right. We'll switch it up. Yeah, I, so I made that mistake with Lonely Planet last year. Yeah. But I'm just going to keep quiet. <laughs> so, so, so. What are the thoughts for the New Year's card? How's that well, coming? Well, uh, Ken asked a while ago, and okay. I still don't have it. Uh, okay. yes, yes, the idea yesterday was to come up, finalize the image, and it was just too busy. I got out of here just after 9 o'clock last yeah. night. But we're now at the uh, decision point. If we're going to do this, it's tomorrow. Yeah. So the only thing to say is there's, we're in a very unusual situation today. There are no parties scheduled today for the first time in, in months. months. And this is the second week in December is historically a very, very quiet time for us. Yeah. The autumn tour season is finished. People will be traveling at Christmas. People who are yeah. doing that are traveling at Christmas and New Year. But like nobody's traveling at this time. Yeah. So we have no parties today. Kawaii San and Doi Center here. So, in theory, I should be able to just go and hide upstairs or park yeah. on next to your desk or something if you promise not to bother me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like you're, you're the big trouble here. <laughs> and then just, just, let's do this. I'll be ready by tomorrow morning. I'll be here All tomorrow right. morning. Can you come early? Yeah, you I can come, come early. early. Yes. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Let's try this. We'll try okay. doing what we did last year. Okay. It won't be the girl sitting in the water. It'll be something. Something. I don't yeah. know what we'll it is something. yet. It'll be yeah. something. And it'll be two blocks, maybe three, something that I think I can do in one session. Last year I said 90 minutes. I'm not even going to say a time. It just won't take all one, day. Just one session. One session, whatever. And it's now, I am now under the gun to, to get this done, to yeah. find an image, get the blocks ready. I've got pieces of wood. It's on the floor right by your feet. There. Oh, yep. That's I can find pieces of paper, get them ready. Let's just do this. Ethan, can you pop up the image again? I need to know yes. how many snowflakes are on this thing. It's the lower part of the temple roof. I see three here. Is that correct? That looks correct to me too. The one lower the part far of the roof, end, right? And then one here and one, two sort of together. It's yeah, lower, two dark close gray, together right? and one yeah. close to the edge. Okay, okay, okay. That looks right. That must be which okay. ones it must be. Well, it's not matching what I see no. here. But where are the... Hi man, O W says I can't wait. That special was the first Dave Gold video I ever watched. So, the three hour, the three hour one. <laughs> okay, let's try it again then. Yeah. Tomorrow, Japan time, eight o'clock. And can once you get upstairs, do it. The okay. Insta, Facebook, and share about it. Share about We're it. doing something. <laughs> and it's up to me now to hide from the shop today. Okay. Get something ready. For Europeans, it will be a bad night. <laughs> ah, Sokka. Well, what can I say? You know, yeah, I can't. I can't the time that works. stop the globe. I'm not Superman. You yeah. know. And then also, before I forget, we have to figure out a new camera angle because we do not want to do it like this with the right. camera sitting on your no. face for three hours. I can well, nobody can set see. up my own computer. I think what we'll do to so do the chat. You sit right there with yeah. your own computer. There, we will take this laptop and we'll move where a fridge is. We'll put the laptop okay. up where a fridge is. We better test this out. We might have to build a new stand or something. So yeah. Let's work on that this afternoon. Okay. Yeah. And we do it pretty much like we did last year, where the, the laptop camera looks down across the workbench to see me and you. Mm. And then the main camera, of course, is what it is now, focuses on the work. But people are not sitting looking at your face for three right. hours. No, so. Right. <laughs> but then you run the chat from your mm -hmm. own computer yeah. and then for the connections we have the wired connection as it is right now yeah. for the actual video going out 
and, and you yourself can watching just do the stream. Wi-Fi. Yeah, you can use the Wi-Fi. So we had a funny situation here about a half an hour ago. So what happened is we were streaming normally. Mm. I'm plugged into the Thunderbolt here, yeah. to which connects to Ethernet. And people said they're having trouble, they're having trouble, they're having trouble. So I looked at this, and before I had started this this morning, I made sure Thunderbolt was the active right. connection. But while we were streaming, the computer itself decided to switch to Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi is running in the background, so it decided to use Wi-Fi as the main connection, and not this one, the one from upstairs. The one upstairs, of course. Like thanks. Yeah, like thanks. So. Yeah. Don't forget to have a stash of orangina and scones. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good suggestion. And get the Twitch ready. Uh, I get the fridge ready. I'm sorry, Twitch. I can never yeah. get the fridge ready. So. Of course, we'll do it. I'll get the brushes ready, the pigments, get some paper wet, get everything ready for the actual printing process. Everything all at once ready. Yeah. And then the shop is open. That's something that might be a bit different from last time. This is all happening in our physical shop. So if we start this at 8, by about 9.30, the shop will open. There are no party reservations, right. so I don't have to get up and do that sort of stuff. But it's quite possible there will be people partway through coming in here and uh, chatting <laughs> and yeah whatever so I think that's okay as long as when we when people come in we tell them what's happening that be yeah. careful you're on live uh, live whatever and then if we have the camera up there beside me it will look down across the shop actually mm -hmm. so uh, all right let's do this let's do this okay the 2019 New Year's card from Oko Hong Kong live start to finish all 500 copies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not that much. 500 copies. How long have I been in Japan? I think four and a half years, about. Yeah. How long has Dave been in Japan? A little bit longer. Yeah. Well, I moved here in the summer of 1986. We'd been before for three months, three months, different trips yeah. and stuff. But I moved here permanently. I didn't know it was permanently, but I moved here in the summer of 96. Hmm. July the 1st, no, July, yeah, July 1st, hmm. Canada Day, said goodbye to Canada on Canada Day. <laughs> Came on a three-month tourist visa. Yes, all 500, you've got some paper sizing to do. <laughs> She's doing all 500 tomorrow. It's a hell of a bill, you know, too, you know? It's a hell of a bill. That paper doesn't come cheap. No, it doesn't come cheap. And it's a freebie for everybody, you know? Well, I can't quite say freebie because Patreon people are, of course, you know, they're, they're paying money, so. Okay. smallest ant on here. Did the uh, customs work out? The person asked for um, for an invoice so they could show the customs officer and say, yes, I did order this thing. And so I sent an invoice over to smallest ant. Oh, you're talking about yourself. No, I yeah, over the weekend, the smallest ant said um, they're having trouble picking up their package because customs wasn't... Wasn't there an invoice on the outside of it? Or was yeah, it I guess they needed to match up with the buyer or something. Ah. So it's still waiting. Tomorrow you'll have some news. Ah, that's what right. Are we talking about Sweden? Is that one or, or Germany? Uh, I or? think Portugal. I think it was. So. Yeah. We'll find out tomorrow. Yep, Portugal. We had an interesting one in the shop over the weekend. We do the, the tax free, but we need the right. people's passports mm -hmm. to do that in. And a lady pulled out a blue passport. Which I'd never seen before. And it said United Nations. Mm. And then we pulled out our form and started to put it in the press, but she said, no, 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 don't put it in there. <laughs> and she said, There's a rule, you can't put anything in the United Nations passport. So I'm like, Well, if I can't put it in there, we really can't do tax free. And we yeah. looked inside the passport, and there's no stamp that shows when she came into the country. Yeah. So with the, even without that, we can't do it because we have to be able to document that they are travelers that have yeah. been here less than six months. Right. So I said, you can't do tax-free. Do you have your own passport as well? 
And she did. Yeah. She's got her own passport. She huh. pulled that up, and that's got the in, import stamps. So yeah. Put the tax rate in it. Huh. But there is such a thing as a UN passport that she had on the side, and that's the one she showed to us first. Interesting. I'd never seen that before. And there were no stamps or anything. Her name was in there. It looks like a normal passport and stuff. Hmm. And I guess... I mean, maybe, she's a United Nations officer or something? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't really. I don't know. I didn't yeah. Know. Okay. Interesting. Quoting Gami asks, are you aware of a lady yeah. in the Iwana family, maybe, that creates washi sheets four meters by four meters? Well, Iwana son themselves do that. We ordered one from Mike Lyon. We ordered very large sheets from the Iwana hmm. family from Mike Lyon. The Iwana name is used, it's, it's the family name up there. There's three or three different workshops that use okay. the name Iwana. You know. hmm. And they, they share work among each other to some extent. I don't right. know all the detailed backstories of, of how the family has uh, grown and expanded. Hmm. But the Iwana that we use doesn't have a tub big enough for making large sheets. Hmm. But one of the other Iwana families there has gone into a more commercial printmaking, you know, not all handmade with kozo fibers and stuff like that. Yeah. But they do have the facility to make larger sheets. Interesting. So there's some kind of cooperative venture where they use each other's facilities for this sort of thing. Okay. I tried to ask them about it a while ago, and they just don't talk about it. Huh. No, no, no. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder how much a four meter by four meter sheet of paper might cost. I don't know, but also I doubt they would be full 100% coastal. I'm not sure that right. most people using those large sheets are usually made with a, a different mix. So. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't know. There's lots of you know, special orders going on, case yeah. by case. I, mm -hmm. I saw three dots. Was there four dots in that section? I thought, what was there? Do you, on uh, that? the picture, it just shows three. Just three, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's again the, the lower roof, right? Yeah. 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 Now we go to the red. Well, the red here, I think we can locate on the upper red area. How many here? I think I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm seeing seven dots. Me too. One off in the corner, small. Or two group, a group of two, one more, one more, and another group of two. Um, we're upside. We're left, left to right here. There's one. At... Which end are you at? This is the, not the registration corner. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven. There seems to be four of them along the bottom of the end. The, you know, the bottom row. All right. Are you seeing? Mm -hmm. I can. You can see both it exactly the same way now. Uh, this is the left side of the print over here. This is the upper roof, right? Or no, the no, red. This is Sorry, the red. It's not the roof, it's the red. This ah. is the, and this is the left side of the print. So there's one, one two, two, three, four along the bottom edge of the red. Okay, yes, one, that is. One, two, off. three up in the Okay, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong section. Both the upper roof and the little middle red part have seven. Mm -hmm. Similar groupings, but not exactly the same. Your mother jumped in and said the English news mentioned that Japan was relaxing its immigration policies. Is yes. this so? Yes, it just happened. It, yeah, it went through yesterday, but it's a lower house, so it's not still. It's uh, supposed to come into force April 1st yet, next but... year. They're moving really quickly on this. Abisan seemed to have much more power over all those old backbenchers. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's nothing that affects us. It's not going to help us work with Chonsan, for example. It's, right. uh, they're looking for people for the construction industry and for... Farms, right? And for farms and for... Uh, uh, old folks home. Ah, know. that's right, yeah. Nurses and uh, other... Mm -hmm. Caregivers. And caregivers, yeah. But it's a new thing for Japan to bring in unskilled, low-class labor from other countries. This is a, a quite a big deal. They're opening the mm -hmm. tap here. And there's a lot of qualifications, uh, a lot of... Uh, uh, stipulations. Stipulations, yeah. yeah. These people can't bring any family members at all. Yeah. And there's no way they can be extended at all past five years. Yeah. You do your term, and you are history. Yeah. In theory, this is at least this is where they're starting, and this is how they managed to get it through the through the parliament. Yeah. Because the people are nervous about you know, quote low class people unquote yeah. you know, 
living here permanently and uh, changing Japanese society. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Whatever. From other countries, America, Canada, countries where there is lots of immigration, it's easy to be cynical about this. But this is a big deal for Japan, you know. Mm -hmm. They have seen the example of many other countries around the world struggling with immigration, mm -hmm. finding that too much immigration sometimes really severely impacts social life yeah. and society, and they're justifiably nervous about it. Yeah. It's easy to criticize them. Japan should take more refugees. Japan should take more immigration. But it's each country makes its own decision on how much they want to change their society, and this is a big deal. Yeah. And if the people marry and want to stay there, tough luck is what it sounds like from the rule, but I don't... Well, no, that's a different question. That's an interesting point. In fact, this is part of the argument against this, because Mr. Immigrant A, who's here working on a construction, he meets a Japanese girl, marries her. That's it. He can now go to the immigration office and ask for a permission to change uh, status, status yeah. of residence. And because he's married to a Japanese person, he's now free and clear. And unless they show that there's been some tricky business or something, mm. that's it. He gets his change of status, and he's now a resident of Japan. Period. Yep. Bang. Yep. I didn't marry to get. I mean, I married. Whatever. I had my Japanese partner before we came here. We didn't. I didn't get a Japanese partner to 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 stay. To stay in Japan. But, yeah. uh, but that was my initial entry, of course. I mean, they're not worried about people like me who really do integrate pretty well, learn the language very well, you know, totally become community members and yeah. run business and hire Japanese people, whatever. You know, yeah. I'm not a test case, you know. Is there just one dot in the bottom part of the red? Bottom red section. Yep, I only see one. On one of the columns, it looks like. I don't know if that matters. I myself, I'm not sure if I were the, you know, if I were the king here, whatever, would I, what would I do about the immigration question? And honestly, I don't know. I have no idea what to do, you know. I wouldn't want to see what has happened in some other countries where immigration happens too quickly and too fast and the people don't integrate. But I dislike the idea about letting them in to do cheap labor and bugger off when we don't need you anymore. I don't like that idea either. Yeah. So maybe the best of all worlds would be allow immigration on a permanent thing. People are immigrating to Japan. Yeah. Choose people and make a test. You've got to learn Japanese to X level before you can make your application. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, do it like the Canadian system is there's points involved where people yeah. you try and identify people that are going to be long term contributors to your society mm -hmm. and limit your immigration just to those people. Yeah. And make them jump through some hoops. Make them, you know, you know yeah. make them study. Right, right. No, this is the one that I'm not sure what to do. This is back to a gray. gray. This is the gray. I can sort of see it's all over. This is the little thin lines at the top. This is those patterns. Mm. And there's a flat area right here where my finger is. Okay. And clearly there's one, two, three blobs of snow in that area. Yeah, that's the lower roof. Yeah, and then Jed has, to my instructions, he's put blobs not on the borderlines, but there's overlapping with some of the scratchy. They overlap with some of the scratchy stuff. So I need to cut the scratches off. Is that the mm. idea? We can't have a scratch inside the snow. Yeah. And these scratches are almost invisible anyway, so I don't have any problem with that. So just that one. And the rest. Yeah. And there. There may be some overlap here, and we won't know until we print this. Who right. was that? Was that Kawaii San? Kawaii San. I wonder if it's Suga because she needs these blocks. Oh, yeah. She's starting today, huh? Well, no, what she did the test printing, these blocks have been used. She did okay. the test printing on Saturday, which okay. worked out basically okay. She's not happy with it at all because this gradation was really a no no. We don't have a print to show anybody. Okay. Nowhere near that. Okay. So she is really not happy. She walked away. She trudged away from the shop mm. Saturday night. I was really unhappy about that. Oh. She didn't feel she did a good job, and mm. that's a downer. She didn't do a good job, but this is the opportunity. Let's learn how to do this. Let's see. Yeah. Here we are. If we just do jobs you can do all the time, you're okay. never going to get better. Yeah. So she wasn't quite so happy. Okay. 
So it wasn't her normal... Um... It's a difficult print. This okay. is really, really difficult. That gradation in the middle of the orange that has a gradation up and down at the same time, she okay. didn't have a clue what to do. Okay. And the things she was trying didn't succeed very well. Mm. I went up there in the afternoon to work with her and do some suggestions, and then we had a real lucky thing happen. Kubota-san came over. Ah, nice. And then that's why I said, so he brought some cookies for us and to say thanks for all the work we gave him this year and stuff like that. Yeah, and he kept we said, busy. And Sugi-san, I said, to sit down. Yeah. Join us. <laughs> and we... he did. He gave her lots of advice. I'm and so it was glad. It was funny, you know, he yeah. you know he doesn't want to be our teacher and stuff like that at all. He won't want to come in here and teach these girls. But there she was, half in tears almost, saying, what oh. do I do? And he's, you know, she's her, his protege, so yeah, yeah, he sat and said, well, look, so. what I would do if I had this is I'd do this, I'd do this, I'd do this. And I made a quick gesture to Ishikawa-san, okay. like this. I made a, Take I made some a, notes. <laughs> notes. So she, so I just moved my finger, you know, like this. Little yeah. She got the idea. And she sat behind kubota Yeah. And she sat there just making notes. Because <laughs> you can't record the guy. You can't, you can't be like that. Yeah. So, so. And he had lots and lots and lots of suggestions about this. We could try this, or maybe we could try this, or then what happens? If that is brief, we try this, and she's just drinking it all in, and he's got yeah. some scribbling as fast as she can in the background behind her, you know. Lee Chan's ears are as big as Mickey Mouse, and yeah. just sitting at the back listening to all this, you know. So, yeah. We had a great time. That's good. And once we saw, saw him off, it's funny, when he, when it came time to go, all of us came right down from the fourth, from the third floor to the second floor to the first floor to the door to see him off. Yeah. And he's like, no, go back to work, go back to work, go back to work. And we're like, no, you, you helped us. You, whatever. It's not just that. We, we do it. Even if he hadn't said that, it's, right. it's part of the deal, you know? Yeah. And we saw him to the door. And he's like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. He didn't feel he's so important. And for us, he's an important person here. Yeah. We see him off the door. You don't sit there on your bench and say, see you later, guy. Yeah. You see him off to the front door, you know, and you do your little bow and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So he's all like, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But he's inside. He's, of course, totally pleased with this. Yeah. And so away he goes. Yeah. And we come back upstairs, and as I'm coming up the stairs behind her, Sugi-san, she says, oh, don't talk to me, I want to write this down. So <laughs> she said, she said, just don't talk to me, don't talk to me. She came running back. I don't want to forget. Grabbed a piece of paper and yeah. started making notes and scribbles and stuff. Yeah. We had a great time, great time, great time. Yeah. It's so rare for us to be able to get that thing. And in the old days, he would be sitting in one corner of the room working. Yeah. And you're just seeing him all day. You see the guy work, and we mm. don't have that chance. Yeah. And I'm no Kubota-san, but even I don't work up there. So yeah. Sugi-san, there's no chance to oh, see. Oh, hey, uh, good, good morning, good morning. What's his red and black stripe? Looks like a jail outfit or something. Okay. Oh, shut it. Oh, shut it. You gotta get more opportunities with Kubota san somehow. We've asked him, we've yeah. offered to pay, we've asked him come and work and come and show us yeah. and come and do this. He doesn't want to do this. He's retired. We're happy that he's doing work for us. I mean, on a, on retired, but still working basis. a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, he's got to eat, you know. Yeah. But he doesn't want to be in a workshop, mm -hmm. working day by day by day. You know? so of course, I get it. Mm -hmm. I understand. You know, so. I think, Cameron Sand, that I think the job is done here. Oh, okay. I think all, you know, it's possible no I missed one or two here. If it does turn out that I've missed one or two, it doesn't actually matter because what I could have done was carve this block first and transfer this one, print it over to the other blocks instead of taking them off from the master. Right. So we'll find out. When she does her next picture test printing, we will see. Oops, there's a one snowflake that's mm. not quite a snowflake. So no problem. Yeah. We carve it up. So there's no permanent uh, damage done. But uh, when, how they're going to be able to print this, I really don't know. You know, I've got to tell you, the print will not look exactly like we see in the Photoshop version, because we just cannot do that. What yeah. Jed has done with his overlays are not the way that woodblock colors overlay. Right. Specifically, the right-hand side over there where those trees are in the background. Hmm. It is not going to have the same appearance there. The overall appearance will be the same. The lights will glow, there will be an orange glow on the sidewalk, it'll be deep sky at the top. The overall appearance will be the same. Yeah. But in detail, it will not. And one of the things she did yesterday, she printed the sky gradation a bit farther up than it is here, mm. and that left a lighter area above the temple roof, mm. and it looked nice. Really? It looked like mm. the glow of this town was glowing up yeah. into the sky. Cool. And we may leave that, so we'll see. Yeah. As an, as an improvement. You know, the temple here is gloomy in the distance, mm -hmm. but having that little bit of a sky glow above the temple yeah made it look a bit, I don't know, a there's the Stand glow. out a bit more? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's okay. So we'll see. We'll play with it. We'll talk to Jed. We'll send him some scans of the proofs and uh, talk back and forth with him. Great.
It's coming together. And print two is getting carved, is that Chum right? Chum is on, onto it right yeah. now. Chum Sound's going to be the main carver through the year. I've done number one so that we could video it. I'm supposed yeah. to make a YouTube video. Oh, that reminds me. We need some video of Sumisan printing. Ah, yes. Okay. So if she does That's do that good. this afternoon, she might be doing the, the uh, Dragon and Clouds print. Okay. So we need some video of her printing. Okay. Especially, ba -da -da -um. Yeah. Turning it over. So that the YouTube yeah. video, yeah. Okay. Okay, there we are. I'm done. Camera okay. time. All right, we're done. All right, to what we will be doing, let's make the announcement. I'll be here tomorrow morning, tomorrow 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. With one of those streams. One of those special streams, start to finish. For the New for Year's 2019 card? 2019 New Year's card. Okay. Design at present unknown. But it will be known tomorrow morning. How long it'll take, <laughs> I don't know. No idea. And we'll put this on social media today. And I have now got to get to work. Okay. To find the design. Sounds great. See you tomorrow. We're going to have a rare stream on Tuesday. Mm. All right. Yeah, Tuesday stream. So yep. emphasize that in the, in the social media, yeah. too. That this is unusual. We don't normally stream Tuesdays, right. but this will be a Tuesday stream Special because the shop session. is, quote, closed, unquote, right. yeah. allowing us to do this. Okay. Okay. Sign us off, sir. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.